It's 34 minutes after 6. Here on the AM show, we are getting down to doing the newspapers now. Uh, let's start with the daily graphic newspaper. Front page of the graphic. Mystery surrounding missing state vehicles deepens. Mr. David Yaro, the administrator general, is featured on the front page of the graphic. Also, two die in Bimbela chieftaincy clash. President appoints new CDS and Ami chief. And there's the president in a handshake with the new CDS after uh, the announcement at the Flagstaff House on Thursday. But let's uh, fast forward and go to page 16 in the graphic newspaper. Uh, let's start with the story of the, the vehicles. Uh, and now people are speaking, but it just, there are so many questions still to ask. Uh, and who is the appropriate person to give the ans answers. It says that the Office of the Administrator General of the Presidential Estate Units has underscored the need for the presidency to exercise due diligence in efforts to find the more than 200 vehicles reported missing from the fleets of cars at the presidency. In an interview with the Daily Graphic, the Administrator General, Mr. David Yarrow, said the reporting formats for taking stock of government vehicles contained in the handover notes was through in uh, was thorough enough to help find the missing vehicles justifying the need for a tax force to retrieve state assets on the radio program last wednesday the acting director of communications at the presidency mr eugene ahen said about 20, 200 state vehicles were missing and it, it continues to tell you the story uh, from different angles in the newspaper uh, but i think uh, you know, the fact that the Administrator General has come out to add his voice to this means a lot. But the process of handing over, do they just prepare like Roland, like a document and tell you what exists and they just give it to you? You don't go there to check physically that what has been handed over really in a document is also physically present. I, I, I think ideally that should be the situation. If, I, I don't know usually what pertains. Okay, and, but um, if that's what happened then nobody should be asking any previous uh, you know, worker in the previous administration anything. They have nothing to answer. I think even at, at uh, I'm sure for all institutions, they'll have somebody responsible for transport. Yeah. And that person is the one responsible for taking inventory as to what the in, inside and out are for the stock. The yeah. ones that have been taken out and the ones that have been brought in, who is having what. And I'm sure they should have all those things available. Yeah. Uh, perhaps maybe what has left the gaping hole is um, who is having which vehicle out of the ones that the communication from the presidency is saying are not available or are missing, so to speak. Now, if the person is having, who is that person? Is the person from the previous administration, etc. Uh, and I think that would also enable us to put um, some uh, pen to paper on mm. many of the issues. Uh, because we also need to make sure we do the communication right. It, yeah. it is the presidency. It yeah. is no more uh, a political campaigning activity. No, so, it's not. So, so then you leave yourself prone to a, 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 a lot of uh, questions being raised, not yeah. only by the media, but also various people across board. And even your own people or supporters or those who, are, who will be pro-government people. So they tend to ask certain questions. So yeah. we, I think it's the, it's the way the communication is undertaken. Mm. If you know you want to come out well with a certain communicative copy, then you need to make sure you satisfy the questions that will be asked. Exactly. That is why in basic corporate communications, when you want to come out with a message, you have to figure out or try to um, preempt what questions will be asked. So you bring out your copy, mm. then you, you put together a Q&A for yourself. Yeah. So you Because this is one of the you, basic you have things, to right? Now, one of the basic things is, okay, did you physically, uh, during the transition when they said there are 600 and something, something cars, did you physically go around with them to check, okay, yeah, this is it, this is the part that this is. By the way, why do we have so many cars? How many people work at the Flagstaff House? Why do we have so many of them? Don't we have too many of the cars? Well, for I, presidency I, I, alone, over 600 vehicles? Well, th th there are many reasons why we. Let we me tend do the back page of the graphic. Reasons. Whatever reason you have, I'm not sure it would <laughs> satisfy me. So let me do the back page of the daily graphic. Uh, Zoom Lion presents waste equipment to KNUST. It says that Zoom Lion Ghana Limited has presented waste management equipment worth 3 million. Uh, Ghana cities to the Kwame Nkrumah University 
of Science and Technology in Kumasi. And the equipment included two multi-purpose trucks, 20 tricycles, 5,000 bin liners, and 200 litter bins. Uh, and this is uh, very laudable indeed. Uh, two confirmed dead in renewed clashes in Bimbela. This is the sad uh, recurrence of an incident. Uh, and, you know, a lot of us were heartbroken yesterday. Two persons have been confirmed dead in Bimbela in the northern region following renewed chieftaincy clashes in the town yesterday. A number of people were injured in the process, while some houses were also set ablaze. As of the time of filing this report, there was still simmering tension in the area. And may I say, I think that the police has failed in this instance as well. I mean, Bimbela is supposed to be... Um, a place that we keep an eye on at every point in time based on um, you know the history of the place and I, I am not convinced that the police didn't get any intelligence before this issue yesterday if they didn't and that's even a bigger failure if there's anything like a bigger failure but if they did what did they do about it mm. for it to you know come <coughs> to, to degenerate this point? exactly into this one. it's a shame really mm, it is We'll see how that goes. But uh, we have on the front page of the Daily Guide is the next paper we're looking at. 208 cars missing at Flagstaff House. We also have Kofi Adams fights back. And our name's uh, Aqua at, uh, D, uh, at CDS. And two killed in Bimbela. No stories on the back page, but you go to the center spread. Uh, talks about uh, no court injunction on Kwabna Kwabna uh, concert management says and then we have other stories there also on the center ah, well the concert is supposed to be today so if it happens then it means no injunction but if it doesn't so we wait to see i want to see if the events will come up or not where's it taking then, place national theater okay uh let's do the ghanaian times newspaper front page of the times shake up in military air marshal samson oj out i mean when you put it that way the man has retired i put it that way it's like somebody kicked him out yeah. Okay, so the very, very powerful military men on the front page of the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Where you see these men physically for shake. <laughs> Even the one who's going to retire, man. Uh, but to Air Marshal Michael Samson OJ, uh, who is the outgoing chief of defense staff, I think we wish you well. Uh, he's going on retirement. We hope that you have a lot of fun. He's had his relax. due. Served his due. And well. enjoy your family. You, you've served the country. Uh, and we feel protected, I guess, because of all the things that you've done. Uh, and we wish those coming in well. Uh, also, two killed in renewed clashes in Bimbela. Two MPs, Sue Otiko Jabba, wants uh, Supreme Court to restrain her from acting as minister. That story on page 20. Uh, let's just touch it on touch on a little bit of that in uh, the Ghanaian Times newspaper, just before we move to the back page of the Times. Okay, so it says that the controversy surrounding the appointment of Gender Children Social Protection Minister, Mr. Tiko Fisa Jabba, might not settle as yet, as two certain opposition members of parliament have filed a suit at the Supreme Court against her appointment. The plaintiffs, Kwamina Menta Akando, MP for Jabba's constituency, and Ernest Henry Nogwe, MP for Sherman constituency, have uh, asked the Supreme Court to restrain Ms. Otiko from conducting herself as a minister until the final determination of the case. So you can read, you can grab the paper and continue to read details of that in the Ghanaian Times back page now. Ghana receives 250 million US dollars for HIV AIDS uh, and Ghana National Fire Service checks fire safety compliance in the greater Accra region. So for the Ghanaian Times, Roland? The front page of the Daily Dispatch newspaper has a story. President has not neglect, neglected um, us. That's Dr. Tofuo on um, the MPP gurus, uh, on MPP gurus on President neglecting Ashantis. And then we also have Minister of Roads answers 56 questions in 115 minutes. Uh, his um, Kwisi Amwakwata. Kwisi Amwakwata. Then we have on the back page, um, Wachija Akos Bombshell expose NDC civil servant to reward MPP loyalists. We've got the Finder next, front page of the Finder newspaper. Still bets, time bomb in Ghana. And check this out, smoke from firewood, charcoal and polluted water to blame. 
uh, says a new research. So you can grab the paper and read all about this research. Labour Commission staff wants boss sacked. Major General Obed Akwa elevated to acting CDS. That's Chief of Defence Staff. I'll sanitize the atmosphere of invectives, yeah? That's invectives. according to Mustafa Hamid, uh, the information Foul minister language. designate, as he appeared before the Appointments Committee of Parliament on Thursday. At least he's not saying, I'm going to smoke out children. Uh, no. How do you say that? Babies with sharp teeth, yes. Thank you, Fred. I'm not going to smoke out babies with sharp teeth from the airwaves. Uh, yeah, but we hope that he's passed. I think he's a... He's one of the, the people who wouldn't shy away from picking your calls or, ask, or answering your questions. I mean, bring it on. If you think you have something sensible to ask, go ahead and ask me. If it's not sensible enough... I think enough, so far the various <laughs> information ministers we've had yeah. um, have been open to the media and somewhat... Information or communication? Well, it depends on, it depends on the roles <laughs> they were playing. You, you know, um, uh -huh. in, in some of the regions, if you say communication, it's got to do with more technical yeah and then they provide information yeah so i uh, will see how that goes but this um, i hope he's like an open book but this one is supposed to be uh go between person yeah. right i hope that he he's is supposed to be the, the go between person Yes. Like a normal yeah. PR person. Is. Yeah. I hope that he opens himself up. You know, because sometimes well, he you should, know he should people, be picking his call. Sometimes yeah. you know people behave differently when they are in opposition. Well, they, and when they're in government, think, they tend to behave yeah, in another yeah. way. So yeah. we hope that Mustafa sure. Hamid, sure. you open yourself up and you know you interact with us and hopefully we'll be asking you only sensible questions. Because I know what, <laughs> sometimes some of the things that puts some ministers off and some of the awful questions that some of us journalists tend to ask sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it simply doesn't make sense and they're asking you, mm. you know? Like for example, <laughs> especially on, 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 on this matter of the so-called missing cars, yeah. etc. Sometimes, I, I, sometimes I, I hope that they do understand us. I know we ask questions as if we're foolish, but yeah. it's because we're asking the question thinking that an ordinary foolish person yeah, but sometimes we actually ask very foolish questions. No, we, we ask very foolish questions. <laughs> but, but sometimes, so the most intelligent of all journalists yeah. will ask some basic, stupid question. But it's because ordinary people ask sometimes stupid questions. And the person is not there to ask a question. So you ask a question on their behalf. The, the mm. fact that I'm supposed to be sensible and ask a sensible question doesn't mean that the, the so-called stupid question that... that Acts up to the perceptive opinions of mm. people should not be asked. Well, I you know, so, so, so sometimes you. I know, I, I know, I, I know that we ask questions and they said, I and, and, and they say in their mind, really, are you yeah. so dumb? Okay, yeah, you know? I get it, but I won't put it as a foolish question. I would say basic. Sometimes we ask very basic Baseless. questions, and I know that somebody's thinking, ah, doesn't she know this already? But that's only because I'm not asking for myself. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. But there and should be like a distinction between that. a very basic question, and like an ordinary and question, a question, and a really silly question, you know. <laughs> silly. Uh, very, yeah, sometimes yeah. we go and we go ask some <laughs> dumb questions, and they said, this guy go to school? Yeah, I listened to this interview. Uh, uh, was it Kwabna Donko? And, I, and listen, I, even though we, we bashed him a lot because of the power crisis and the promises that he made himself, I think that he tolerated a lot. Somebody calls him, he's in the hospital for crying out loud. If I call you and you're in the hospital, I'll just say, I'm sorry, say, I wish you well, and hang up. But this journalist, even though the man said he was... He recorded he, it. Yeah, he was recording it. He was, <laughs> <laughs> he was still asking him the no, question. but that's not fair. And the man was still, you know, very uh, uh, tolerant. Like, he was answering. I was like, really? I wouldn't go another question. The best I would say is... I but that's you. Well. And, and, and that's the ah. circumspection and the eth ethics we talk about. Because yeah. you, you, it's because for some of the traits, apart from you being a professional, you have to be empathizing yeah. and all. Yeah. And, and, and some people have it. Some just don't. Some are just crude. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But you just have to watch the Western media and sometimes some of the questions they ask. It's, uh, it's downright annoying. You see, I think the painful thing is <laughs> when annoying. we don't know, when you haven't read, and you're trying yes. to like, uh, like, is it query, like, you know, 
it's very annoying. You know, you don't even yeah. know the thing. And yeah. you're, you're like yeah. coming to push, push me. I get your point. Anyway, okay. So let's uh, look at the online exactly. portal. So we'll I have a surprise gift. for you, Roland. Oh, this I have a, a, a big, nice gift from Gabon for you. We didn't bring the cap, but we brought something. Uh -huh. And that's I have great. it for you. Oh, that's. What are you expecting? Ah, maybe like. Uh, like. Uh, Mm -hmm. Like five thousand dollars or something. <laughs> 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 uh, Mama say, Let's do let's my job online. I mean, I need that cash more than you do. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, my job online more. So former NDC MP calls for arrest of people keeping state vehicles. That's uh, Tete Chai there, a very respectable uh, man indeed, and uh, he says. If people are keeping the cars, they should arrest them. Uh, Mustafa Hamid promises to work towards making GBC exciting and good. Mustafa Hamid, we wait to see. Uh, let's move on. Okay, uh, so IBM to train uh, 25. Oop. Okay, that's technology right there. We'll get back on track. Uh, missing vehicles. Former Deputy Chief of Staff accuses government of cheap politics. Uh, and this man didn't speak a lot when he was uh, Deputy Chief of Staff, but this issue really got him and he issued a statement. Uh, it's part of the things that we're going to open up here on the show, right? Mm. Uh, okay. But before uh, you continue, I, ju I just got this message from a friend who says, mm. he says, hey, 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 hey Masa. Mm -hmm. That's from Gabriel, a good friend of mine, my mate, too. Mm -hmm. It says, there's no stupid question in journalism. It's more of the idea behind the question. Story idea, he emphasized. <laughs> thank you, Gabriel, and thank you for the information. Oh, then. sometimes people, I mean, sometimes when there's a silly question. <laughs> I still hold my opinion. Too, so a silly question is a silly training, question. So he uh, okay, so another person who's been watching the show, really, when his wife is Daniel A.J. Owusu. Uh, and he's taken screenshots of us and sent it to me. Wow. Yeah. Let me see. This is beautiful. That's your handsome self, right? Yeah. Oh, so uh, good morning to you, Daniel. Thank you so much for watching the show. And he good shots too. Are you a photographer? Oh, okay, please. Let's go on. Uh, let's still do some more stories <laughs> on myjoyonline.com. Trump loses bid to rent state travel ban. Uh, that's another story. Apologize in seven days of face me in court. Kofi Adam tells MPPs Obri Boahe. Government to reduce import duties or duty on fishing equipment by 2018. That's according to Afoli Kwe. 2018 is just next year, right? Mm. Okay, so amongst many other stories on myjoyonline.com. Because they're giving problems by 2018. Today. Uh, let's quickly do CTFM online. We accounted for all state vehicles. Uh, where is the former communications minister? What's his name? Former communications minister. Oh, my name, Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yesterday, uh, Fusu spoke on CTFM. Mm. I listened to him. Uh, we left Nanado. Uh, you you miss him already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll be around for a long time, so don't worry. Uh, it's not like he tolerated me anyway. So why would I miss him? We left in another four bulletproof cars. And that's according to the NDC. So where are the vehicles, really? I mean, it's like a chess game we're playing here. Uh, we're out of the campaign. So let's get, this is like running a country. Nanado unveils Ghana at 60 logo celebration uh, to cost 20 million Ghana cities. The questions that we are asking, where, how did we arrive at the 20 million? Exactly what are we going to be doing? Where are we getting the 20 million from? What profits are we going to make? I think we have to begin to run our country like a business and make profit, not just let's, you know, spend, spend, spend. And the, oh, even the 60... The 20 million is too much. No, I'm saying... It's, it's okay. I didn't say it's too much. Did you listen to me? No. I said... It's a profit. As you said profit, well, I we, know that... Yeah, but if... if you're we, looking if, for due if, diligence. No, wait, hang on. If we put... If, if a private company, a private business put this amount of money into something <laughs> but we're not private it's because we're a country yeah but we have to once we're spending we have to run it you know the such a way that value will get the value we're going exactly so whatever value i mean it's value, going to be more than 20 so million so value the value that's what i'm saying <laughs> Is Journalists are critical. Is that said? Let the government help it. No, no, no. Oh. We're not spectators. We've been assured we shouldn't be spectators. We're be certainly citizens. not going to be spectators. Well, we'll see how yeah. that goes. <laughs> uh, presidency's claim about missing cars falls, according to the NDC. I heard something about Leonardo that I kind of like very much. I hear he doesn't like people who just go with it. 
that they like people yeah. who can oh, okay. challenge yes, sir. and have an opinion. Yo, yo, sir. And have an opinion, yo, yeah. Yo, 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 yo. He doesn't like the <laughs> yes, sir, master, yes, boss, yes, doesn't boss. Doesn't like you, 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 You've got to have a say. Yes, sir. And he likes it when you defend your stance. So yeah, you have a... Eh, what can you do? Yo, yo, mate, what do you do? I mean, you do. On Vanessa. No, I hear that's not... Unless I'm mistaken. If you know him better than what I have heard, then you can correct that yeah, impression. He doesn't like but that. But that's the, the impression likes... that I get, man. He likes people. Then yeah. it, means, it means he likes creative people. So he would like me, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I like the Are you close to anybody close to him? Oh, Introduce me. I think we're always oh, we're okay, always so close we're to people <laughs> who are close to people. So it's normal. So uh, That's we're done we do. with City FM. Let's do BBC. Yeah. And so we do the BBC page. And it's about uh, fighting marrying annual Jacob Zuma address. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Zuma, he's always in trouble. Shall Was it video? three days ago you asked him a question wait, about him? Wait, wait, there's punches thrown in parliament, yeah. Charlie, can we go to the video and see what we can this pay? One, no, no, this no, one, this one, one we we'll get, one. unless we get, this we have an video. app. MPs of a radical opposition party <laughs> Let's go there, see whether we can play the video. Right there. Um, okay, so he said, was it two days ago I was telling you? Two or three. You were asking me about Jacob Zuma. Yeah. I mean, we were talking about the president yes. and blah, blah, blah. And whether some him. of them... <laughs> I asked about the impression. We're talking, I think it was um, reports asking him the, thing, the perception yeah, that we have of, uh, uh, of places. And, yeah. I was and, I, and, and we were talking about how Ghana was Jacob great. Zuma and, and, and Let's see whether we can get <laughs> it. It's here, it's here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is there sound to it? There should be. Can they come put a video on BBC Pay with that sound? So we try and see, but this is it. I guess this is the thing that is that led to the aha uh -huh, action. We're not getting the sound, but we're seeing the action. Masa, this is parliamental. Can Fred go to the <laughs> where they they have okay, the sound? And free fights. <laughs> oh my god. We see honorable members using their heads <laughs> to harm others. Oh my god. And this is in the South African Parliament. Yeah. Uh, and this was all they say in an attempt to disrupt the president's State of the Nation mm. address. I can you imagine. Or say who is a majority leader fighting minority leader. No, not exactly in that sense. I you know the, no, I'm the, trying to the create thing a was with replica. security well, with security guards. You know, because they, they have this section of MPs in that parliament that they describe them as radicals. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> Julius Malema. Yeah, ma. front. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't they come out from the governing uh, ANC party? initially? Yeah. yeah. Don't you just love Ghana? Okay, so we go to Facebook today, and uh, we want to pick some few comments before we go and do sports. Yeah, we'll go. Out. Let's okay, have a moment. so let's look at this. Um, it's a question. Go, go, let's go up. This is our logo. Ghana are 60 years on, mobilizing for Ghana's future. So let's go up. We'll put this. And what Did we pose a question on this? No, I mean, that's the logo. What do you think? Okay. So we have a couple, Mamavi. Yeah, Osman uh, Mudas says it's really uh, good to celebrate, but it shouldn't be party-based celebration. And the theme for celebration is not hat-touching. Uh, hat-touching one because it's just meaningless to give for this big anniversary. Wow, the cost is too amazing. Uh, how we just waste such kind of money for only one day celebration? I'm a citizen, not a spectator. Uh, but I don't think it's a one day celebration. David Ayesin says, please, how much did we spend at Ghana at 59? I'd like to know. Good question. Latoma Mahamadu says, we've seen the logo, we like the logo, and we will use the logo. Ghana, our beloved country, will work again. <laughs> That's a partisan Oh, comment. my God. That's a kutia uh, for me. We've seen Ufe the logo. Ufe. We like the logo, and we will use the logo. Go ahead, man. Uh, Dilton Averett, but remember, we're not spectators. 20 million is fair, fair enough. Fair enough, that's all. Uh, and it says <laughs> the logo is cool, but the theme, though. Uh, Mahama Saibu says 
The logo is beautiful and depicts unity at 60. Adam says, plagiarized logo. Hmm. We're getting comment like that as well. But if you say plagiarized logo, you've got to prove it. Until then, we liked, we saw the logo. We liked it. And, and, and since and uh, you, you, it. you, uh, audience are saying uh, plagiarized, we'll try and fish out and see whether we We can... will try. Bring the proof. We'll bring to, we'll do some <laughs> investigation and see whether we'll see whether it's plagiarized yeah. or not. We've got to do sports and I've got the biggest surprise for you on sports today. But just before that, Masa, we're collecting our monies, we're encouraging you. Uh, we put ten ten Ghana CDs in our Susu box. Roland, no no no, you want to cheat me. That's why I bought fifty CDs. Bring ten. I try I no, I try bringing so let me pay for the next uh, no no finance. if you're paying for me then that's cool but if no i'm paying pay for, for the next four years oh how yeah four days <laughs> the next four years five days no 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 i'll lose count bring 10 cities i don't have 10. so bring it i'll go and change it okay. then you put your 10. all right uh stay with us